Hello dear aquarists, welcome again to my next video today about Otto Sinclus, a very popular catfish. Yes, they usually come from the wild and usually bringing some wild diseases with them. And maybe you have seen my other videos on wild diseases, what it can be. Well, watch this one. You will see another case which is uh, common in wild fish. Otto Sinclus Afenus case 168 with an internal worm infection and a bacterial infection yes combined together as i explain in my books how to take care how to treat how to prevent autosynclus here we see them in the tank they arrived from the wild in this case they came from colombia you see the skinny ones coming from a wild amazon river from a colombia region well we saw the gills you see the damage on the gills not looking well you see these gills are gone necrosis by usually bacteria look at it no good respiration the fish will waste away will not do well and then we found internal those degenetic trematodes here that's an air bubble that was here that's another worm encapsulated that's another worm encapsulated so several ones and here the black parts is all millions of bacteria so bacteria encapsulated worm larvae trematode larvae and then here we see the video of the millions moving uh, bacteria massive bacterial infection combined with worms so this is what we could find in this case of autosynclus and the suggestions of our treatment well fish were weak after transport and handling and those who have low worms they will suffer the most and they will be difficult to save maybe an antibacterial treatment could be implemented ask your pet shop or your face doctor or get my books you will find treatments in there and you can help the fish strengthening the immune system with prey and probiotics like Dr. Baslier by Fish Food Forte. So do all those things can help and also your actions and also to understand that this is a problem of wild fish, like I explained in my books. So a wild fish can bring in diseases, they can get weak, they can get bacterial infections, but you can take actions. Like you took an action to learn this video, to watch this video and learn more about fish diseases. Thank you for watching.